Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, how are you guys doing today? Uh, I'm doing perfectly fine, uh, today I'm just uh, about to show you uh, yesterday an internal discord server, uh, I think it was one of the moderators that asked me to actually test uh, blue control, no it's not blue con control, it's blue chronicles. Huh? This game, you know, this game, it's about to come from Bandai Namco sooner or later. I think it's this year. So, uh, yeah, this time we'll be trying this game. Everything here is in Chinese, but uh, luckily I got instructions what to do. So here are the settings menu. We'll be using 1440p uh, in this video. Maybe I will do benchmark for the others. But uh, yeah, here are the four presets. Here we have low, medium, high and epic. And of course, we can actually do custom. This is the last one, is the custom, and uh, then we will just put everything to the max. But uh, in this video, we won't be doing this, we will just be running the epic preset because it the game has, uh, I mean, benchmark has some trouble running around 60 FPS. Uh, this uh, game, I mean, benchmark, so yeah. And later on, I will show you how you can actually increase voltage. I even got it to about 270 volt voltage on my A770, and the clock speeds were so much better. So, uh, yeah, I will be back once this benchmark uh, run finishes. So, enjoy some uh, FPS watching and frame time watching. And actually, I was really impressed here in this game. Uh, I mean, benchmark. Oh my god, how many times will I say game? In this benchmark, uh, it's based on Unreal Engine 4, and uh, if you pay close attention to the frame time graph up there in the left corner, you will see that uh, we don't have that big of a stuttering problem, which is quite known in 2023. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, um, good thing uh, happening over here. Hopefully, the final game will have even better performance than the benchmark currently has. But we'll see once the game fully releases. Will you be playing this Blue Chronicles MMORPG or do you like to play some other games? I surely will be testing it out and uh, who knows, maybe it's actually, maybe it will actually be a really good uh, MMORPG. We'll see once this gets uh, released, so um, yeah, enjoy the full benchmark and uh, I'll be back soon.
Okay, so the benchmark finished and here's our score, 9738, uh, which apparently, as it's shown here on the left side, it's uh, very good. But this we are talking about uh, stock setting for the Intel Arc A770 and uh, of course here I am all about overclocking this GPU so we will obviously try to beat this record and we'll see if uh, overclocking will actually help us achieve a better score than 10,000 hmm? what do you say okay anyways let me show you my new way of uh, how I overclock the A770 let me just quickly save this uh, result open up paint over here copy paste save right here stock okay let's go so i have a base um, to actually reflect back to and i might actually submit this run because i saw there on uh, google spreadsheets we can actually submit our score so people will compare so uh, i will submit an overclocked um, score once I get it done later. So, anyways, you know what we need, Intel Arc overclocking tool, that's the number one thing that we will be using for overclocking. I hate control panel now that I got used to the Intel Arc overclocking tool, so yeah. What you gotta do is here put these watts to the max and uh, of course we'll be using the fan curve, put it to the max, we don't want the uh, temperature throttling down our clock speed, thus getting a really bad uh, score, so uh, yeah, let's put this to the max, make sure you close the Intel Arc control panel, I didn't hear in the first run and we see something back so uh here i'll be using the uh, cru i will leave the, the link down in the description it's custom resolution utility or something like that we just use this to actually restart the driver just as it was noted here you saw elgato was not capturing any screen because the driver was uh, being restarted and uh, if we check now uh, hopefully I, I did everything right and when we go back here to the performance setting and configure we should now oh no something bugged yeah this sometimes it cannot work because uh, what you usually do is set max uh, volt voltage here and see now we even have error because before it crashed so um to fix this if you get the bug and the voltage doesn't increase to like 250 260 uh you really um, the best solution is to start over <laughs> restart the computer go back open intel arc oc tool and uh, then go to the intel control panel this from arc graphic card and set the voltage to the max put the fan curve wait a minute or two just like i'm doing here um, and uh, then use the C cru uh, tool to um, reset the driver thus uh, making it possible to actually boost the voltage to a uh, higher values uh, i got just back from a restart so i will just quickly show you here again that hopefully now that i will do it it will work uh, just fine let's go again what we did like i said before we go to the performance settings configure let's go here boost the voltage okay max i mean watts again watts voltage sorry for uh, constantly <laughs> changing these two terms when i'm applying here the settings uh so yeah changing this and uh let's try again without actually closing the control panel because when you restart the driver the control panel should automatically close so uh, yeah here i was just waiting for the fan speeds to ramp up because sometimes it can back if you're in the middle of ramping up the fan speeds once you restart uh, it will stay at that value even though it's possible to have like 2000 rpm for me it stayed at 1.6 i mean 1600 rpm and uh, yeah just wait for the fans to ramp up apply and uh, restart but here again see i got bugged and it didn't work so i decided to go to the intel arc oc tool and force the voltage here 
uh, if the bug is uh, applied, uh, you will be able to actually set the wattage. Again, I said words before, you know, wattage, see if it's not bugged, then uh, it will either go back. So what you must do here is set the default um, wattage, which is, uh, let's check here in the performance settings. 228 so we set here to 228 and as you can see now it applied just fine and uh, if we close uh, again and uh, go to the restart uh, our graphic driver now hopefully once we are back uh, we should have an option to actually apply more which uh, yeah it did see now we are at 255 wattage so uh, let's test it out uh, and see how it goes this time i will speed up the benchmark a bit so uh, just do some talking beside and as you can see i did too many restarts over there and uh, my monitoring bugged we got zero volts 40 watts <laughs> and our gpu clock speed is at 600 and <laughs> cpu is at 46 oh my god what is happening but um, as you will see in the end the overclock actually worked because uh, we got a better score <laughs> than uh, what we had before 9700 something you will see now in the end uh, we got about 9900 which uh, actually means that the overclock was working so just the stats here in hv info got bugged but at least the FPS is showing correctly, <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> Anyways, we are about to uh, finish the benchmark run here and see if I was really correct that we have a better score than before. It will be close, it will be close, we are, uh, we are almost there. Oh, it's already past our stock setting, so yeah, it feels like it's working a little bit better than before. Let's go, let's go, will we pass 10k, will we pass 10k this run, no, we did not pass 10k, but uh, we did get better performance here, let me quickly save this down, because uh, I need this for later usage, and uh, yeah, restarting, so I fix this HV info back, and uh, let me do this thing again where I go to the fan curve and put to the max, watts to the max and close the control panel this time. Now go to CRU and put the restart, run as administrator. And let's see now if uh, closing control panel helped before. And as you can see, whoa, we had a much better, uh, bigger uh, wattage number now. We can put to 272. 272 is what I meant, but uh, it's the same thing what I said. Anyways, uh, let me quickly go open up here. Blue control benchmark and arc tool again, because now we have much bigger wattage. I advise you, once you bug this, don't set in the internal control panel. Next thing you need to do is open up this arc OC tool and set the max wattage here, because uh, Intel arc panel just won't uh, allow you to set it, because it gets bugged once you restart the driver. So Intel arc OC tool is your friend over here. And, uh, as we can see now in the new run look at this we are over 250 watts and we are getting a little bit better megahertz speed on the core clock 2.7 gigahertz megahertz uh, too much uh, power right now surging through the graphic card 1.125 volts 1.13 volts uh, i actually found out if i have 1.1 1.15 or 1.17 volts the core clock speed drops so uh, that's just my card your card could be something different oh as you can probably see uh, the overclock crashed so uh, yeah Yo, I finally got the setting right so we can do a normal benchmark run. It probably clashed like 50 times before I found a stable overclock for this benchmark. So, 
yeah, such is the experience once you overclock your graphic card. Expect it to crash until you find the most stable uh, clock speed for your graphic card. Let me just... Oh, it's set to the max setting. I mean, max the epic preset. So, uh, yeah, let me just quickly run over here now. And uh, let's hope we beat that 10k mark. I tested this overclock. It's 2.7 gigahertz uh, at least it tries to be in this benchmark when i was running this in call of duty and other games so oh, it was working just fine even better than here but uh, i think this blue chronicle it benchmark is quite intensive uh, in discord i talked with one guy he said that uh, his uh, 5700x processor though on stock cooler that it ramped up big time but for me i don't know man. We see around 5 gigahertz, but usage in CPU it's 10-15%, so um, I'm not sure why the speed, uh, I mean fan speed would ramp that high, because my Noctua NHD 15 was uh, whisper quiet when I was testing this, except the Intel A770 graphic card, <laughs> so once you overclock it to above 250 watts, it starts to coil wine big time and it, it was screaming in pain. <laughs> uh, maybe I will do a 4K run of this benchmark and post a short up here <laughs> and also record <laughs> how the graphic card is screaming for help. <laughs> yeah, let's go, let's go! Come on, follow me! Let's get this dragon right now! Come on, then we're gonna leave and go to the chopper and go back to the safety! Someone said that I have a kind of voice of Schwarzenegger, Arnold, so I did my best to work here. <laughs> Haven't done the impression for quite some time. So anyways, guys, see you in the next one. Subscribe and um, 